All right, let's take a look at what we did last time. So I'm gonna hit Z for uh, my camera here. I'm gonna hit Z to select it. I'm gonna press, um, let's see, two for our movement, or you can select the move tool up here. And right now you can see, you're, you might be wondering, well, where's your camera? If we look off to the side here, it says return to default editor, or I can click on editor camera here, and it'll switch me back. And now when I zoom out, you could see I'm, there's my camera itself. And if I hit B this camera, I'm actually moving this camera around so I can sort of frame the shot the way I like while in the camera, which is pretty helpful. I can also use the WASD keys, W, A, S, and D to move this around. I can pan. So this is a really nice way for setting up cinematics within your scene. So anyway, with my camera selected, I'm gonna hit return to default camera editor. And I'm just gonna hit Z to frame that a little bit better. Z like zebra. And I'm gonna hit add component here and I'm just gonna add a script canvas component. So just started talk, typing can and here's my script canvas. Now I'd like to create a new script, um, just to teach you a little bit about script canvas. And within that script, I'm going to do some very basic printing to our console here. So the way to create a new script is by simply clicking this button here. And you can see here that it created a blank um, script canvas and it named it Untitled 1. I'm just gonna do File, Save As. And you can see I've got a whole host of scripts that I've created. Let's see if the name Play is taken, because um, what I do is I play it. And I'm just gonna hit Save and just save over that. And what I normally do is, just for fun, I'll type Play or whatever, just like knowing, letting myself know later that, oh, I was just using this to play around in the script. So let's take a look at some basics. What I like to do is right when this object or this camera is loaded into the scene, maybe I want to do some cool stuff, maybe play with the depth of field or whatever. Uh, one cool thing to do is use the on entity activated. So I'm going to right click, just type the word on and start typing. And you can see the power behind script canvas or one of the many things that make scripts canvas very powerful is that it auto populates with what it believes that you need. So um, right now it's suggesting that I might be looking for on entity activated, which I am. I'm just gonna press enter, enter there. If you're looking for, well, which game entities or what can we use? Off to the left here, they also have a whole host of um, different nodes. And that's what this is called. It's called a node. And within this area over here, for example, you can see there's gameplay nodes, there's entity nodes. Now remember, an entity is essentially those game objects we have in our scene. So my camera is an entity. So under game entity here, you can see there's activate game entity. And then right here, there's on entity activated. So that by right clicking in here and typing it out, it's a shorthand way of selecting our entities from our scene over here. So as our entity is activated, I'm just gonna right click and do a print statement. And I'm going to link up my value from here to here. And the value here corresponds to this value box down here or this value radio button down here. So if I was to connect this entity to value here, it would apply it in there. So actually let's do uh, a couple things. We're gonna say, um, hello from camera, colon space, right? And then for this value here, let's go ahead and just learn how to create a quick variable. And they give you a host of uh, really awesome variables here. I'm just gonna go with number. And with this number, I'm just gonna name it like, um, I don't know, just generic num. It could be whatever you want. And I'm gonna left click and drag and drop this here. Now what I'd like to do is I can do get generic number or I can set generic number. So let's just do get generic number. And when I select this, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit here. You can see up here in my node inspector, it gives me the variable name. And when I select this, there's that variable name generic number. And then there's a number value here, which is 0.0. .0. So I'm gonna make this 10. And I'm gonna link this get generic num, the number into this value here. Now I'm gonna hit control S to save my play. And when I go back in my scene, you can see that it automatically loaded that play. I'm going to right click in here. I'm just going to hit clear. Now I can hit control shift C. So let's look, take a look at that. And that cleared it. Another thing is if you don't see your console, there's a couple ways of doing it. You can hit the tilde key on your keyboard to bring that up, or you can go to tools and you can go all the way down here to script. Uh, I'm sorry, not script, but you can go over here to console and open that up. So tilde or click console here. Now, if I hit control and G or I click this play button, 
you can see that it played or indexed our scene here. Now, one of the things is, um, let's go ahead and hit escape here for a second. You can see that it says hello from canvas and it actually entered a 0.00, .00 value, right? Now, what happened here? Well, let's go back into our, our, uh, cam our script value for a second. Even though I entered the number value of 10 here, let's save that again. It's not necessarily updating it right away, right? So it's still registering it as this 0.0, .0 number, right? So let's take a look at that one more time. I'm gonna bring this up, or bring this down rather. And it says, um, uh, let me see what we bring. It says 0.00. .00. The reason for that is when we go back into it, we need to initiate or fire this node off. So if I go in here and I drag and drop this, or another way of doing it is grabbing our out here and then our out to here, what's gonna happen is by connecting it this way, when our entity is activated, it's gonna get our generic number. It's going to look through these parameters, connect it to our print, and it's gonna use this value inside of here. So let's see if it works now. I'm gonna save that, minimize that for a second, then hit control G. Now you can see down here, it says hello from cameras 10. So I wanted to show you that so that you remember that in, that our nodes work in sequence, right? So let's take a look at um, this one more time. So we have our on entity activated. That means when our entity starts up, we're getting this generic number, right? And, and actually now I'm noticing this misspelling and that's actually a good way of learning too. If we go in here, I'm gonna rename it. So and normally I do my um, variables, I camel back them and I start them off as lowercase. So G-E-N-E-R-I-C number, there we go. So I'm gonna hit enter. Now you can see it updated in, in our scene. So if you, um, you uh, are plagued by misspelling sometimes, um, here is a way to rename your variables. So anyway, we, we are getting our generic variable, which is currently storing that value at 10. And because they're linked up, it's going to take that number value, place it in here, and we're gonna do hello from camera, which is just this text, and that's what's gonna print it out to our console. So I think that's a pretty good introduction to you know a little bit of how to create a variable and how to drag in nodes. Um, and we'll build on this in the next